I, laid, I was laying down in my bed, and I, all I could hear was this voice going, Shut up, little man. Shut up, little man. Shut up, little man. It was one morning, I got up as usual. You know, get up, meet in the kitchen, and uh, he said, hey, did you hear that last night? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't hear anything. The next night, I'm laying in bed, and I hear, shut up, little man. I go, oh, not again. And then I heard the other voice, shut your fucking mouth, cocksucker. Shut up, little man. Hey, man, did you hear those guys fighting last night? You know, again, I I'm a very sound sleeper. Don't wake up very easily, so. I felt a little unhinged. And the fact that he wasn't hearing them was making me feel more unhinged. Gotta get to sleep. He uh, came into my room. It was about 3.34 in the morning. Just started like, shaking my leg, saying, hey, hey, Mitch, wake up, wake up. They're going at it. I jumped out of bed, ran into his room. We slid open the window, and we were sitting there listening. And he said, this is it. This is what these guys are doing. You always giggle falsely. You don't have a decent giggle in you. I am a decent Shut up, little man. This time, it was basically trying to figure out survival strategies, because you're living next door to people who have no regimented time. They don't work. They basically drink all day and pound the shit out of each other. Go to bed. And I decided I was gonna deal with it. So I went over to the next door neighbor's house and I banged on the door. Nothing's happening. And then I kicked. Boom. Finally, I could hear something kind of rattling on the other side of the door. And then the door opened up. And there was this Cro-Magnon looking kind of guy who had the neck muscles of a newborn. I was infuriated. And I said, God damn it, you know, you guys have been screaming for days. I'm trying to get some sleep. You need to shut the fuck up. So it was Ray. And he said, <laughs> Hey, listen, you cocksucker. You skinny cocksucker. Shut your fucking mouth and go back to bed. I was a killer before you were born. I'll be a killer when you're dead. And I remember we could hear Ray saying, come knock on my door, you cocksucker, I dare you. I kill, I will kill. The first recording, you know, was in response. It was a response to feeling intimidated, feeling frightened, really, feeling scared. And I ran in my room and I grabbed these, my ski poles, took the microphone, spliced in some speaker wire, and held the ski poles out the window. It was moments after we had done this that uh, all of a sudden you hear Peter say, You know, we were like, oh no, oh, what should we do? And, and you know, we both looked at each other and like, fuck it, leave it there, see what happens. And uh, all of a sudden, Ray, you can hear Ray kind of coming to the window and he says, Hey, next door. Yeah. Peter Hatchford is a fucking demon motherfucker. That was their response to being recorded. They didn't, didn't seem to care. Oh, Will you stop oh, it? Balloon man, yep. stop it! Sucker, you know what you did? Don't you ruined all the cigarette papers. Oh, well, darling, I am sorry. Here are, some here are some cigarette papers for you, asshole. Here they are. There you are, darling. Don't call me darling. Well, then don't act like a fool. <laughs> 